Yes, actually, that pretty much matches what Justin Wilson did yesterday. This is his teammate Verstappen. Uh, it matches what Wilson did yesterday, I would imagine, with quite a lot less fuel on board. So he has made a move forwards. Um, I'm also told that these are not the latest, anywhere near the latest spec Cosworths in these cars. In fact, they could be uh, sort of due for an MOT quite soon. They're quite old engines. And uh, I think maybe Minardi struggling a little bit, and for sure they've not got the latest Bridgestone tyres either. I was going to say, I think they might uh, need to attract the attention of the constabulary for uh, tread depth, because they had 2002 spec racing tyres. So very frustrating for the Minardi team. They're not really playing on a level playing field at the moment, but that's Formula One. You've got to make things work for you, both off the track as well as on. Jos Verstappen, though, is matching the sort of pace we saw from Antonio Pizzoni so far. And the people at Minardi say Verstappen's a man reborn, completely different character from uh, the one in Formula One a few years ago, who was quite awkward to deal with. Apparently he's extremely hardworking and constructive and really is putting a lot of effort into this, his rebirth in Formula One. Yeah, you see him in the restaurant of the hotel with his wife and kids and he looks very mature, very relaxed. Uh, it's unusual to see a Grand Prix driver through a Grand Prix weekend sort of en famille as it were but anyway Jos has definitely grown up quite a lot I don't think he's quite the angry young man he used to be and he's driving uh, quite maturely but certainly is looking very much like the Bernardis are going to be on the back of the grid excepting for anybody who fails to uh, put a time in this afternoon he looks like he's going to be quite a bit quicker than Justin Wilson too can't quite break the 300 kilometers. The front runners are doing 303, 304 at the end of that straight. And that's all about horsepower and drag when you get to those kind of speed levels. Over the line he goes and uh, he only just beats Wilson by a tenth of a second. So actually uh, Justin Wilson doing a, a pretty solid job compared to his vastly more experienced teammate and a teammate who knows this track. This is a strange racetrack in that is very wide and you see a lot of drivers struggling to find their way around here because it looks it's fast and committed but it looks moderately easy to learn but it's not it's so wide